The research project that we are involved in is looking at trying to recover two elements, tellurium and selenium, that are really quite rare in the Earth's crust. So geologists haven't really looked for it, and miners haven't really looked for it because it's historically not had much value. Now we are starting to recognise that it has some incredibly useful properties and you can use those in, in solar panels and that's a real uh, boom sector. So our project is looking at trying to better understand those elements, how they move through the crust, how they're stored in rocks and how we can uh, ultimately exploit them and recover them uh, and provide them to industry. For us to understand the chemistry and the mineralogy of a rock, we collect samples from the field or we're sent them by our industrial partners. We often cut them into slabs and then form them into what we call thin sections. These are small pieces of rock that we polish very thinly so when we put them on a microscope we can actually shine a light through them and see the minerals and how they're affected by different kinds of light under a microscope so it allows us to identify the minerals and the textures. We can then take these thin sections and we can place them in scanning electron microscopes or electron microprobes so we can analyze them at a micron scale and look at the chemistry of individual minerals in the rock itself. So when we've produced our thin sections and analysed the mineralogy and we understand the texture and the chemistry of them, we can send them over to our colleagues in the chemistry department who can determine how the different minerals in that thin section dissolve in the, the solvents that they're using and they can optimise their solvents to target the minerals that we are most interested in, so the, the telluride minerals for example. What we ultimately hope to do is to deliver um, knowledge to industry on how and where they can find new sources of tellurium and selenium and we hope that in a sort of a 10 to 20 year time frame so we're thinking long term here that we can really improve the security of supply of these two elements to ensure that we can continue to manufacture solar panels that are cost effective and we can have a truly green energy supplied to our grid.